Today marks one week since the state line lost a DeKalb deputy, an Army veteran and a mother of three. Deputy Christina Muscle died while sitting inside her squad car along Illinois Route 23 Thursday night. Investigators say a truck lost control and crashed into her. They have since arrested that driver, Nathan Sweeney, who initially received citations for failing to reduce speed and proper lane usage in operating an uninsured vehicle. Right now, the DeKalb County State's Attorney charging Sweeney with reckless homicide and driving under the influence. This morning, we're hearing from DeKalb County Sheriff Andy Sullivan, who issued this response to the case, saying, quote, the results of the Illinois State Police crash investigation confirms that this terrible tragedy could have and should have been avoided. I want to offer my sincere condolences again to the family of our friend and partner deputy, Christina Muscle, end quote. Now, friends, family, and colleagues of Deputy Muscle will have a chance to say goodbye. Dylan Valencia joins us from NIU, where the visitation and funeral service will start in just a few hours. Dylan, how is our community, the DeKalb community, coming together to honor this fallen deputy? Manuel, it's definitely a very difficult day for the DeKalb County community. I mean, just like you just mentioned, just one week ago today, Deputy Muscle tragically lost her life in that horrible accident. But I, what I think is really important to know is the beauty of seeing the community come together. I mean, look behind me. You could see how many flags are lining up this area uh, here at NIU. And I kind of want to give you an idea of just, I mean, it's a breathtaking sight. There's American flags as far as the eye can see as soon as you enter this property. And it's it's almost too many to count, but really showcases just how much they're honoring Deputy Muscle. I mean, like you said, Manny, uh, she lost, uh, she, she's leaving behind three children, all of whom are under 12 years of age. Definitely a very difficult loss, but it's beautiful to see just how the community is honoring her. In fact, just a few days ago on Monday, there was a procession that we want to bring a video to show you of really seeing the community coming together to honor her and really support her family during a very difficult time. And actually, since that procession on Monday, multiple GoFundMe pages have raised a total of 240 Forty thousand dollars and that number is only raising to really help the family move forward and today that healing represents another step forward for the entire community here at the NIU Convocation Center her funeral services will be held public visitation visitation will start at 10 a.m. in just a few hours and if you'd like to attend it's open to the public you can use parking lot C2 and entrance 2 to get in the building after that a law enforcement walkthrough will follow the visitation at 12 45 p.m. with the funeral service beginning at 1 30 and then finally there will be a procession leading through DeKalb and ending at Butana, Butana Funeral Home. Now that procession route is on your screen right now. You can see that it will pass the Jewel Osco, the Hy-Vee and Portillo's before arriving at that funeral home. And again, we will be streaming all of that live on our streaming properties on our 13WREX app and on our website, WREX.com. But like I mentioned, definitely a very somber day, but I think seeing the community's outport and support for her and her family is definitely a beautiful sight to see. Again, we, we will be streaming all of these services live leading up to the procession. Uh, later on this afternoon. For now in DeKalb, I'm Dylan Valencia with 13WREX.